This movie is so weird. Welcome back to Flix Recap, I'm Luke and today we're covering a movie called Plus One. Before we start, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you dig the breakdown. And as a quick reminder, this video contains spoilers, so you have been warned. The movie begins with David taking a bouquet of roses to surprises his girlfriend Jill at her college fencing competition. When David reaches the competition site, he meets Jill and then sits down to watch her match. Sadly, she loses and leaves the hall. David goes in the hallway to look for Jill but bumps into her opponent. He finds her really beautiful and when she leans in for a kiss, he kisses her back on the lips. Whoa, okay, weren't you going to comfort your girlfriend? Anyway, Jill walks into the hallway just then and catches them locking lips. She rushes away and when David runs after her and opens the door, it opens to a balcony and it looks as if Jill has vanished into thin air. Several days later, David is still into Jill and wants her back, but she's blocked him. His friend Teddy says David is a playboy and that this summer things will get wild with all their female classmates ready to get freaky. Suddenly, a meteor falls outside David's house and a strange energy flows around the electric pole, making the lights flicker. In the shadow, we see David turning sideways but his reflection in the mirror is looking straight. Spooky. The light properly comes back on and David leaves the house with Teddy for a party. David is hoping to meet Jill and make up. They arrive at On God's party and everybody is in party mode. Their school friend Allison suddenly comes out of the bushes saying she was waiting for someone and out of nowhere a crazy student named Kyle jumps on On God and punches him for not being invited to the party. Inside everyone is super drunk and getting crazy. A girl's unclothed body is being used as a platter for sushi and many eat from it. David however walks around the party looking for Jill. Meanwhile, Teddy sees a girl named Melanie sitting alone on a sofa and tries talking to her, acting all confident. Finally, David spots Jill smiling and talking to a guy named Steve. When David turns around and then looks back at Jill, she's gone again and David continues looking for her. The guy asks Allison out as a prank, humiliating her in front of everyone because all the girls laugh when he tells her he was joking. At the same time, Melanie asks Teddy to follow her to a room upstairs. Outside, Kyle is sitting with his friend Bonnie, bummed at not being invited inside. They see the supernatural energy from before flowing around the electric wires. Bonnie runs away scared, but Kyle keeps standing still and staring at it. Inside in the lounge, kids are playing tennis in the air with a fireball and David sees Steve come out of a room. He assumes he was with Jill, but when he gets a glimpse inside the room, it's some blonde girl staring at the ceiling. A blue light is coming out of the room similar to the supernatural energy flowing on the electric pole outside. Suddenly the fireball hits the curtains and it catches on fire, but water sprinklers turn on, extinguishing the fire and making everyone even happier and wilder. Upstairs, Teddy enters the room and Melanie is waiting for him completely unclothed. At the same time, something weird has gotten into Allison. She's alone in a dark room with blue lights talking to a parrot, asking it if there's room inside the cage for her. Downstairs, the girl who Steve was hanging with is still staring at the ceiling in the room filled with the blue light. It seems as if the supernatural blue energy is going to harm these humans. Later, David finally finds Jill standing outside a room upstairs. He asks her to let him apologize to her privately in a room. They go into a room and he says sorry, but she doesn't care. In the room next to this one, Melanie is riding Teddy like a horse. Melanie gets out of control and starts humping really hard as the supernatural light spreads through bulbs. When she finishes, she leaves to take a shower and Teddy watches her, but when he looks on his side, he sees Melanie is right next to him waiting for him to do the deed. He's extremely confused as it appears to be that there are two copies of Melanie and this one hasn't even hopped on him yet. Downstairs, David looks outside and see two versions of Kyle quarreling with each other when one version suddenly shoots the other in the head. Upstairs, the Melanie in the shower comes outside after her bath and sees another version of herself on top of Teddy. Teddy quickly runs out of the room and both girls come face to face extremely shocked. Everyone is confused and David and Allison realize there is two versions of everyone, one partying inside the house and the other partying outside. They both get scared, thinking the new versions are going to kill the old ones because new Kyle shot old Kyle. As Teddy is rushing downstairs, he meets David and Allison and they analyze what's happening downstairs. They get scared when they realize the same scenes from the party earlier are now repeating themselves. David wears a cap and goes downstairs to scan and find some sort of solution. 
Allison can't watch her new version get embarrassed all over again, so she rushes downstairs too, but Teddy stays upstairs scared. As David looks around and sees history repeat itself, he realizes the newer version of themselves are a bit different and more aggressive. Out of nowhere, a boy takes off David's cap and reclaims it as his own. Okay guys, quick pause to remind you to comment, like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. On with the recap. David walks further into the room where Steve was with the girl. When he goes inside, he sees that girl has turned into a parrot too and is in the cage. What? When he turns back, the new version of David is facing him and asks him his name. He says David, and then he asks what he took to Jill's game. He says roses, and the new David just hits the old one with a glass in his head. Then he ties his hands with wires and hides his body behind his sofa. The weirdest part is that a few minutes later, the girl who turned into a parrot is back in her same position, standing under the light before becoming a parrot, meaning history is repeating itself constantly. New David meets Teddy again and tells him to go upstairs and stall while he goes outside to find some solution. Outside, David sees the new version of Jill dancing with Steve. On God tells David he's going inside to bring more drinks, but David tells him he'll go instead so the new version of On God doesn't see the old one inside. Back inside, new David tries apologizing to Jill again and she just wants to get it over with. No one knows the real version of David is tied up in the room, and this is the new version walking around pretending to be the real David. Meanwhile, old Allison goes in the room with the birdcage and asks them if there is room for another bird, again. She doesn't realize the real David is tied nearby. Her other version is also in the room spying on her from behind her back. Finally, Teddy builds the courage to go inside the room with the two Melanies and finds his other version inside, too. The new version of Teddy isn't confused because he thinks it's Melanie and her twin. On the other hand, David is apologizing to Jill again in the room next door. This time, Jill and David end up kissing because his apology is exactly what a girl would want to hear. Apparently, new David has better tactics than old David. As they kiss, the lights start flickering again and everything goes dark. History starts repeating again. Teddy and Melanie are on the floor doing the deed again as both of the old versions of them are standing in the same room, scared. They look at them and run away from the room because the new versions have forgotten they saw the old ones. Teddy realizes that with every power flickering, the new versions come back and get 15 minutes closer to what is happening in the present. Both Allisons come face to face and decide to meet inside to talk peacefully. These are the only two duplicates yet who aren't being aggressive. Outside, the rest of the people go crazy when they see two versions of the dancers on stage, assuming they're twins. For them, this is the best party ever. Meanwhile, David starts fuming at Teddy for being close to fixing things with Jill when the power went out. Teddy senses there's something off with David. He seems different than usual. The power goes out again, and this time when he comes back, the people inside, which are the new versions, come outside and get face to face with their old versions. Nearby, David finds Jill again, but it's not the same Jill he made up with. She gets really annoyed at him for assuming they're back together, and leaves. Back at the party, finally, everyone realizes something is wrong, and Angad instructs them all to meet at the pool house to discuss. From inside the pool house, they look through the windows and watch outside. Their duplicates are out there partying again. Kyle's dead body gets discovered and causes further chaos. Everyone outside thinks there's a killer on the loose. Inside, everyone realizes they're only a few minutes away from sinking in the same time now. From a peephole they see outside, it's the time right before they came into the pool house because Teddy's other version is standing on the stage outside instructing the people to do so. They realize everything is messed up, and the new versions aren't the same as them anymore because they changed the narrative by being Teddy the one to suggest gathering inside the pool house. Ironically, the ones inside the pool house become aggressive and plan to attack their new versions. They do exactly as they decided and one by one go outside to kill their other versions whenever they get the chance to in secret so people don't panic. The lights start flickering again when both versions start to openly fight each other outside. When the light comes back on, everyone starts beating each other to death, causing a lot of bloodshed. As people are brutally killing each other outside, inside both versions of Allison kiss each other, and the new version of David finds the right Jill and kisses her. The lights flicker again and only one version of each person remains, but they're unsure of which it is. The real version of David has disappeared, and new David is now the one who will date the real Jill. I told you this movie was weird. What do you think it all means? I have no idea, personally. Share your theories in the comments section, and be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the recap. Until next time.